everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week, uh, we are still working on the new release. So I'm gonna show you how to put this little scene together. This is this little tractor is from uh, the Harvest set. So this is a brand new set. So we're gonna use this little tractor here and this little brushy stamp. Uh, we are also going to use the barn. So we're gonna put the barn into the background. So, but you, you know, you can use any structure in here. So I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, mostly working on this little tractor, but you can put a little cottage back here or you could put any, any other little structure back in here. So I am just, I'm using the barn uh, from the, the, uh, the truck set. And then I'm also using uh, the grass from the foliage set three. So this one right here, that's going to the right, we're gonna use this one. And then in the fall set, this little um, this little berry stamp right here. And then in the foliage set, this one right here. So this little ivy vine, the one that goes to the right. And then in the original foliage set, the little tiny grass. So these things are all uh, you know interchangeable. So if you don't have the specific grass, uh, there are other grasses that you could use. Use what you have and. You know, the thing about these stamps is that they're really versatile. And, uh, you know, I get comments from people about uh, it's taking a lot of stamps to create these, you know, little compositions. But the whole point of it is that it doesn't take a lot. That's really my goal is that you can put a composition together and not need a lot of stamps. And, and honestly, start out simple. Start out with a few and then just gradually add to your collection. Uh, you know, we have shipping, free shipping at $30. So you can buy a, a set or two every month and just kind of gradually add to your collection. And in the meantime, use the things that you have just because I'm using a specific one, uh, doesn't mean that you have to use that. The whole point of this is to give you ideas on how to put these compositions together. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started on this little one right here. So this time we're going to start out a little different. Normally we start out with the basic image and that would be the tractor or the barn, but I'm gonna start out with the grass this time. And we're gonna put this little tractor kind of behind this little, um, this little hill, this little grassy hill. And so we're gonna start out by doing that first. So I'm just gonna ink this up with the number 72. And just kind of ink this up. And I'm gonna kind of lay it down as I go. So I'm gonna start out with it pretty much straight up and down. And remember, you're going to walk it. So you're gonna walk it all the way over and just kind of lay it down uh, as you get over to the side. So just kind of like this. You know, as much of the stamp as you ink, that's what's going to stamp. So that sounds really simple, but but honestly, you don't need to ink the whole thing. You could just ink a little bit of it. And it's gonna really change the image a ton. Okay, so now we're going to add some water to it. We're gonna drag this color up and out and just kind of lay this little grass down. We're gonna kind of fade it out a little bit. Okay, so we've got our little grassy hill here. And we're going to stamp our tractor now into the background. So in the meantime, I'm going to cover that up so that I don't stamp that tractor over the entire uh, grassy area. So something stuck on there, there we go. So let's put this back on. So we're going to ink this up now with the sepia. So this is the number 45 sepia, and we're just inking this whole thing up. That's that antique color, that old, you know, color that looks like the outside. And, you know, I'm going to just kind of stamp this uh, so that the back wheel is just at the top of that grass. So straight up and down, and actually probably about here. And then I'll pull this away and I've got my little tractor uh, down inside the grass. So I'm going to now pull the color out of the lines. So I dip my brush in water and I'm just gonna kind of follow these lines. We can add some more color to this tractor later, but in the meantime, let's just uh, start out with this basic step. And just kind of, you know, drag your brush over these areas 
don't worry too much about the detail uh, inside, you know, the engine in here or inside the wheels. You know, it's just the idea of the tractor. So uh, we don't have to get too much of that detail. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and cover now this area. So I'm using my I'm using my post-it tape, which just works so great to cover these areas. And I'm just going to cover uh, this up right here. I don't really care if I stamp the, the barn over the top of this uh, little steering wheel, that's okay. But uh, the rest of the, the tractor, I wanna keep that covered up. So I'm going to ink this little barn now. And I'm going to use the positioner to make sure that I get it in the right place. Um, no guesswork on stuff like this. So place my little shield in there and just put this right into the corner. And now I can move this around so that I have it exactly where I want it. And I think that's probably pretty good right there. I wanna make sure I get enough of it uh, so that I can see the detail. But I do wanna kinda of tuck it back into the background. So I think that looks pretty good there. Okay, so I can move this out of the way and I've got my little barn tucked into the background. So I'm going to now pull the color out of the lines in here. Uh, stay in your sections and remember when you're doing structures, make sure that you don't color all the way to the top of the roof. That's really, really important that you see that little highlight up there. So I've got that pulled out of the line. So I'm going to add a little more color now to that. This is number 29 Prussian Blue. I'm gonna really darken these little, these little windows in here. So I'm using the fine tip now. And I'm just adding a little bit of color on the doorway. And maybe just a little bit on the roof line as well. And now I can take my brush and just drag some of this color out. And I add some sepia now to my palette and some number six brown. And add a little color now to, to that roof line. So leave that highlight on the top. That's really important to do that. Anytime you can leave white like that, it's just gonna, you're just gonna be happier with it. You don't wanna ever color anything in solid. Let's see those reflections on there. And we can add a little of this color as well. Don't be afraid to mix color. Don't ever be afraid to do that. That's how you learn, you know, by experimenting, getting your confidence. And I'm gonna take some of this now and add it to, to the wheel on this tractor. It's kind of an old rusted uh, tractor sitting in the field. So we can add some color now to this too. So this too, the top of the image, we should see a highlight up there. Just like the structure, the top of the structure, I wanna see a highlight on the top. So I can add some color in here like that. And then I think I'm just gonna kind of drag some of this color out of, out of here too. I want this to look like it's old and kind of tucked back into the background and everything's kind of neglected out in the field. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some uh, grass back in the background. And I'm gonna use that little tiny grass now. And this is uh, number 27, the olive brown. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this back in here. And just stamp and add water. That's the whole process. So easy. And I'm just gonna kinda drag some of this color 
uh, back up and around this barn so we can see that we've got some foliage going on back here, just very subtle. Just kind of painting a green cloud in the background. I'm gonna add a little of this color now into uh, this grassy, this grassy hill. Just a little bit from my palette and just kind of blending it in. Let's drag some of it up here. You know, watercolor has that just faded out um, abstract look, which I just love. Okay, so let's add a little more color now to that tractor. I'm gonna do that from my palette. And remember, you don't have to color every area in. So just, you know, resist the urge to color everything in solid. I think we learned that in elementary school and it's just so hard to break that habit. But always leave that highlight so you can see this area right here, it's rounded, so it's a contour. So we're gonna see that highlight on here. So we wanna show that. Uh, the same over here. Now this is this area is flat, so we don't have to have a highlight in here. These little areas down in here, kind of tucked in, so we want to really get those areas dark. And then back in here, underneath, that's going to be really dark. And down in here, just the idea, just the idea of it. It's always better to do less. And let's just put a little detail in here just to kind of show these. These old tractor tires. And let's just go back in here and add a little more, a little more color into the sky. So I'm gonna really water this down. And back in here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to add uh, some foliage now. I'm gonna use that vine, so that little, that little ivy vine, and I'm gonna add some of this now into here. And just kind of tap it in. And this is the number 15. And just add water to it. So I'm using, actually using three different greens here this time. And let's add those blooms. So I'm using the persimmons, this is number 89. And I'm just inking the little berries, one color. And then the stem. And I'm just stamping this in here a couple of times. hit that with your with your brush just the very tip and it just kind of pops that red out you can always go back in there too if you feel like you didn't quite get that dark enough and just go back in with your fine tip and really really get that bright red in there and don't be afraid to go back in and really get these areas that should be dark. And I'm 
just gonna add a few more details here with the fine tip of my green. And just add a few more little grassy details. Okay, one more step. And we're gonna put this little brushy uh, stamp in the background right next to this little barn. And maybe just a few up in here. And we are finished with our composition. So the tractor is completed. And one thing left to do, and that is to sign and date and put it on a card or put it in a frame and give it away to someone you truly are going to make their day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next week.